Hey guys, it's Jovi and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Child almost just choked on my coffee. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all having an amazing fuck Tuesday. Fuck on y'all. Wednesday. I hope you are all having an amazing Wednesday. I'm having a great day. Um we're here to talk about this th shit that's trending. It's been trending on Twitter for like two days now, honestly. I've seen it on Twitter for like two days. But now we done hit the blogs, child. So now we're going to talk about it. Um, vasectomy or bust? Let me... Let me... Vasectomy or bust? What are we doing? What are we saying? And um, what's the real argument here, right? Okay, so before we begin and we get in on the go in, please don't forget to like this video, okay? Like it now because you're going to forget later. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Jovi Beauty. I'm Jovi Beauty on all platforms. So please follow. Please subscribe. And um, yeah, I think I'm done. So let me drop this intro so we can get on with today's show. Okay, first of all, I would want to give a shout out to um, to Brown Girl Bella for telling me about Colt. It's a school. If you've been here long enough, you know we are working on these boarding schools for my kid, child. So shout out to her because I looked it up. It's a great school, child. So it's added to our list. Anywho, we're here to talk about how to avoid having babies. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so listen, I was going to pull it up on Instagram, but it didn't make no sense because the shit came from Twitter. So let's just go to Twitter. So it says, and I quote, okay, listen, this man says, I had a, vas he, I had a vasectomy in January. It ain't that effing bad. It's a seven minute procedure. Just feeling like tugging and pulling. We were talking about the football. We were talking about the football the whole time he was working on me. LOL. You ice your your thing for a few days. Wear a jock strap. You'll be fine. LOL. The world got ballistic. Everybody got an opinion. Okay. And I don't know if I agree with everybody's opinion, especially some of these girls. It's wow. Can I just say, I, one of the first opinions I saw, and that's probably why I got to pull up Twitter, I mean, on Instagram, was somebody saying, oh, wow, so is that your form of birth control? My thing is, somebody got to have a fucking form of birth control. <laughs> like, this man is married. We just had a, like, can we pick a battle? Pick a battle. A vasectomy. I'm going to read the rest of this shit. I'm going to read the rest of it in a minute. But I need us to comprehend a vasectomy is reversible. Tying our tubes uh, most of the times, a lot of the times, majority of the times is not. Okay? I spent a, a, a little part of this year, earlier this year, fucking getting, fucking arguing with damn Neo about the whole vasectomy situation where he said he was going to get one, didn't get one, and the, and the girl got one. She got her, her shit burnt. And now she can't ever have kids. And he went on to have more fucking kids. The reality is that somebody, we need to, like, like okay, one, we should be having kids because our fucking, our... Our population is going down, especially our black population. We're going down, okay? But two, it's like it's like somebody has to be on birth control. Because when you say, when I say we women are in control of our bodies, right? We women are in control of our bodies. And to allow a man to have sex with you without knowing that you're not on birth control, fuck what he's doing. Because again, he can get up and go and whatever, Right. A lot of this ghetto shit that they, even some of these men are talking about in this shit, I, you know, um, let me pull it up, is says shit like that. Like somebody like 
Somebody has to be like responsible. This man is whole. Let me pull it back up. This man is whole fucking married and people are mad at him because him and his wife made a responsible decision together. If they decide they want to have more kids in five, 10 fucking years, he can go back and have his shit reversed. She can't, oh, she can't unburn her tubes. Okay. It's very sensitive in here in the women in the female parts areas. Um, you, oh, and then he said, you take some step, some semen samples after a few months to make sure you're sterile. Um, he also said women go through a lot with their bodies in regards to childbirth, birth control, period, et cetera. A quick snip ain't shit to get your, it ain't shit compared to getting your tubes tied or some other shit. What's wrong with what this man is saying? I'm not telling men to have a vasectomy as the end all be all. I'm just letting y'all know it's a good option if you don't see yourself having a kid. If you want kids down the road, strap up. I know dudes scared to get cut in the in the mm, but it's all good. I ain't it ain't that bad. And somebody else is saying the birth control is doing our late. The birth control honestly is fucking up our bodies. Like, even, like, yeah, okay, she could be on birth control forever. Being on birth control or having IUDs or whatever, that shit wears on our fucking bodies. And if these men can just, if your husband, you're married to this man. She's married to this man. Can't get a snip to save you from having to go through the the those sort of traumatic shits with your body. With your body? What is the problem? Let me tell you what some of these ghetto birds was saying. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull it up on... Hold on. I know I should have just pulled up Instagram, y'all, because the get it's the ghetto for me. It's the ghetto for me. Hold on. I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. Where did I see it? We right. Oh, we right here, girls. We right here. Hold on. Because I don't understand. And it's women and men. And like these are the so many, you know, some women are just dumb. Can I say that? Yeah, I can say that. Fuck. Some women are just dumb as shit. It's like, it's like people, period. Because a lot of niggas are stupid shit. That shit too. But it's like, like, you want a solution and you get the solution and you still not fucking happy. Like, we don't want to have to go through these things with our bodies. So our man, he's our man, your man. Cause you made a smart enough decision to have a baby with someone you were married with. You were made a smart enough decision to marry some a man who has enough common sense to know that common, you know, you married a man that has enough common sense. You done pushed out a couple babies. Y'all kind of done. What's the issue with him handling that? Half of these dudes complain about these trap babies anyway. So this is what he's, this is, look, look. So this is what we see on, on site. Shout out to on site. Look at this duck ass nigga underneath him and what he said. Dudes really on this beat recommending dudes black to they thing cut off. But it's not cut off, you genius. A lot, see, but the education system sucks, yo. Jesus help him. The education system sucks. So a lot of these niggas, they just, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like you can't even take care of, what you, of the ones you got. It's always the trash niggas with multiple baby mamas who say dumb shit like this. It's never the good dude with one child's mother or maybe two because maybe he had one when he was young and he got one when he older. No, it's always the one with multiple baby mamas that's always talking the stupid, ignorant shit when they need their balls cut off. I'll have a nation of bastard kids before I ever get a vasectomy. I have a nation of bastard children. With no with no decent role models. What the fuck has a nation of bastard children got in us? I grew up, I went to high school in the 90s. I grew up, I graduated late high school in the late 90s. People were having fucking kids, teenagers. That was the epitome. That was the fucking time of teenagers having fucking babies. I could do it all by myself. No husbands. No fathers half the time. Half of them didn't even know who the fuck the baby father was. What is this? 
Where? Those children are in their 20s now. Look at this fucking current generation. Look at those motherfuckers. But a, a generation of bad, more, more generation of no, no guidance, teenage mothers, right? Irresponsible ass fathers, niggas who will fix their face to said they'll, they'll just impregnate the world before they even, he didn't say I'll get married and only and my wife, and and then we worry about that. No, he'll just be fucking everybody, destroying our community, destroying our culture. Just fuck it. The fact that y'all think this is a reasonable solution. This is a girl. This is a woman. Okay. The fact that you think this is a reasonable solution instead of just wearing a condom or having sex with people you actually like is insane. Listen. Shh. She's kind of insane. But it's like saying, so don't get birth control. Men, shit can be reversed. Who cares? Why do you want to have babies with niggas who know they trash and don't want to have more babies? Fuck. At least the, the ones that seem to be having a vasectomy, at least less trash. It seemed the real trash just be trying to impregnate every fucking body. How about... How about we get married and don't be trying to fuck everybody? And again, the man was married. The man's married, wife, done having kids. The fact that she can't see past her own ghetto ass situation. Anyway, well, in this case, he decided to see a grown ass woman with common sense. Okay. Well, she said, well, in this case, because it's a lot of fucked up, it's a lot of messed up situations. This ain't one of them, okay? So she said, um, he de he decided instead of his wife doing something that would harm her, he would do something much more simple. It is much, much more simple, so much easier. The effect us even having that shit that that could fuck up our insides. We get fucking cancer. They're not gonna get cancer when if they get their shit clipped. Like, but again, you when you got men who are too stupid, this is again another reason why our education system sucks. So they can perpetuate this ghetto dumb shit with these ghetto ass stupid people who don't have the common sense that God gave them, or they had it, but the education system sucks so bad that it just went down. Okay, they're done having children. Look at what the fuck. We literally dragged Neo. Everybody dragged him for what the fuck he did. Shout out to, um, to, oh, my God. What's her name? I forgot her name right now at this moment. The, the mother of his, the, the first mother of his children. Shout out to her because she just got married. The one that he made, the one that he talked into getting her tubes tied. She was going to get her two times. He was going to get a vasectomy. She did it. He didn't. And now she can never have babies, but he fertilized in the world. It's horrible. Then, uh, in my opinion, Kevin Samuel's supporter. Hold on. Y'all know I got it for you. <laughs> in my opinion. Kevin Samuel supporter. Y'all don't let women on Twitter submit y'all down to getting y'all ditch clip for them to dodge account for them. Listen to him. For them to dodge accountability for getting pregnant by dudes. LOL. Fun. Uh, fun, amazing. For them to dodge accountability. Nigga, the nut coming out of your dick. For them to dodge accountability, this is why I keep telling y'all stop having sex with broke, stupid niggas. Words mean things, and a vasectomy does not mean cash straight. Y'all are stupid in real life, and y'all can't wait to get on here and show it. Yeah, they're stupid in real life because these niggas is dumb. This vasectomy argument is stupid because every reason y'all give for not getting one is actually minuscule in comparison to the qualms women go through to avoid pregnancy. Okay, first of all, vasectomies are reversible. So what is the outrage? Or did y'all boys not know that? They don't know that because they're not smart. Most men are who are anti-vasectomy see kids as legacy to, to cope for the fact that they are that they aren't important to the world around 
to cope with the fact that they aren't important to the world around them and want to be remembered from their family at least. Yep. I know men. I know men who got mad kids. They, they need to feel important. That nigga who a little while ago, where he at? Where he at? Who was like, he'll impregnate the world. To have a world full of bastard kids so he could be remembered as their bastard ass father. So they could say that nigga that never took care of me. <sighs> Grown men are saying a married man with children is pandering for telling his vasectomy story. You dudes are really effing losers. In incel culture has poisoned the water supply. Listen, Kevin Samuel's culture has poisoned y'all and y'all are stupid. Like you can't even have this argument with dumb people. It's like, like, what are we talking about? I don't know. I want to know what y'all think. I saw this and I was like, what? Hey, she said this should be a good one. Because they so dumb. It's like you're willing to just spread your seat. I hate a nigga. Let me tell you. I, I fuck a like really date. I don't even kind of date a dude that got more than one child's mother. Or if it's two, like literally, them children got to be about 10 years apart. And like, like for real, like, like he had one at like 20 and maybe 30 or some shit. Like, like for real, like I don't understand these seed the world, but I have no money to take care of my seeds. I cannot comprehend the, I'm going, I, I'll, I'll just spread my, like who raised you? I could never, my, my people in my family, we could never, I don't like people, like who, like who, what, like what the fuck is wrong with some people? See the world. They have a whole bunch of bastards that don't know that end up in, 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 in foster care, child, you know, child services, ended up getting molested. Chil just having children for the sake of children that you can't actually take care of. Do you know how much money I dropped this morning on this freaking 12-year-old child for Christmas? Plus, I'm going to have to give her more money. Give her some more money. The what? And then the, 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 the fact, the one who said that women, that niggas are doing it so women could dodge accountability for having babies. Nigga. See, this is the problem. Women are never dodging accountability. We can't. We are automatically the primary guardian. Or even when you're married. Y'all know I used to be married. I'm divorced now. Even when I was married, I was automatically already the primary guardian. The the babe, my baby, would have automat because my last name was the same name as my uh uh ex husband at the time. She automatic like automatically. If even if my name was still the same, even if he would have signed the you know, and he would have been there, that baby would have still been baby whatever my my my, my um my uh birth flat what's the name given the name i was born with it would have she would have had my last name from birth like we are primary period end of story they couldn't live without us we freaking got the milk and this nigga talking about us dodging accountability these are the same men again this week that we have discussed, it's only Wednesday, y'all. Y'all know we only do videos Monday through Friday. It's only Wednesday, y'all. This is day three. Day one, we were speaking about who? Some dude who went and, and uh, his ex-girlfriend and uh, his ex-wife with the children in a car. Us dodging accountability? That's not a thing for women. Women, period. Fuck a black woman. Women, period. We don't get that. Like, that doesn't happen. Very few, very few times do you see women who aren't, who, who, who dodge accountability for their children, who aren't, who got that automatic motherly instinct. That's a given. That's not a, 
that it seems like it seems like a lot of these black men in particular want to say that the fatherly instinct is to abandon. It seems like a lot of these new age black men want to get want to feel like or maybe because of their personal experience, I don't know, but that's another reason why we shouldn't be having babies out of wedlock or without, without responsible partners because we ra we're raising these niggas. We the one raising them. And if he don't see nobody taking care of us, he don't see, like if my daughter don't see no guy, you know, taking care of me, she don't see it. She, all she see is me struggling, right? Like I, I grew up. My, I ain't never really seen my mama struggle, right? Like, you know, when she a little old, you know, she old, her back hurt and shit. But like when I was young and shit, I ain't never really seen her struggle. I see my stepfather took care of her. My dad took care of her. You know, my mother. I don't think my mama had a real job until I was like in sixth grade or some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, so again, that's how I'm raised. I raised, I'm also raised with a father who I saw all the time, who provided for his family. So even my drug dealing brother can't comprehend seeding and just disappearing. We have to have fathers for these children. They have to have some sort of fucking example. If their example is I'm a struggling black woman and I'm going to break my back to take care of a man, regardless if it's my man or my son. That's how he going to grow up thinking all women should be. And too many of these women don't even raise those sons to say, you see how I struggled. I don't want to, I don't want whatever girl you end up with, don't ever have her struggling like I was struggling. A lot of them don't even do that. And like we, we raising these fucking, like, damn. It's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing, y'all. It's embarrassing to our fucking race. Even, let me tell you, even the fucking to the red pills. Because it's white, the red pill shit started with white dudes. Even to the red pills. Y'all, black, some of these black men and the shit that they, how far they're willing to go in abandoning their kids. We know white people ain't even on it like that. Y'all are so, y'all just take, and just so, so degrading of your, just, it's just like, it's just like, a, is it the subconscious just degrading of your race? Like they say, when you, you know, you set black people, set niggas up you don't even have to do you don't even have to oppress them they'll oppress they selves these niggas out here oppressing they selves spreading they seed far and wide to and then complain about the child support that they gotta pay when for the girls who actually take them for fucking child support no accountability no responsibility no how about me not just get everybody pregnant and maybe I get a wife or somebody that I actually love and care for and actually want to spend my life with and have children with. And be and if that doesn't work out, be a responsible adult and take care of those children. And if I move on and eventually have more children, you know, I'll eventually have more children. But let's not have children like they're bargaining chips for every fucking relationship we get into. Why is some people, so a lot of these dudes, have babies with every chick that they get in a relationship with? I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Hey, Quana. Hey, hey, Pamela. How you doing, sis? Hey, LaDonna. Ladies, a man can get women pregnant a thousand times a month. You can only get pregnant once a month. Hey, Toya. Hey, Miss Paquinta. Hey, XL. Hey, Mrs. Wright. Hi, Mommy. How are you? Okay. I like Neo's ex. So we're not going to say, we're not going to, we're not going to disrespect. We're not going to, we're not going to say she's not bright. She was love. She was young. She was young and in love. And he's a Libra. <laughs> she was young and in love. And he's a Libra. 
them Libras ain't shit, but they make you feel like they shit. Not you, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. She said, me and my husband have been discussing this under no circumstances. Will I have my tubes tied, but his is reversible and less invasive and dangerous. That's it. I can't, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Well, I don't, you know, but I'm not doing I'm not. I'm not doing it. She said, "What's crazy is Tootle is Tubal litigation is fully covered by um, insurance, but vasectomy is not. Yeah, because they want to cut out your shit. They always, especially down south, y'all. Down south, they always trying to sterilize the black women down there. It's racial. It's racial. It's racial as fuck. But the the real again." Damn, I don't like saying this because it make me it, it makes me weird. But it's like it's like the shit is racial as shit, and the 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 whole I hate single mothers, but you're creating single mothers. The whole it's like it's destructive to our community, and they're too dumb to see it, right? Like, you should be looking for wives so we can build back families, so we can, like, build back our community, right? And not just have, not just seed the world and have struggle throughout the world, just struggle throughout our fucking communities. Can we actually, shit, I, I can't. <sighs> Men complain about not having a say in reproduction, but this man is taking control with his and men are upset. They're going to be upset regardless. They don't wait. From what I'm gathering, especially the a lot of these little, you know, it's, it's a sect. It's like a cult. <laughs> it's, just, it's just insane. But it's like a cult. The Kevin Samuels S cult. All them people. All them people. All them people. It's like a little cult and they don't, and it's like, it's the lack of accountability or responsibility at all. And it blows my mind. It blows my whole fucking mind. I have you, y'all seen the videos we made the last two days. I've had so many men up in the chat talking mad shit, but you know what I was, I was saying? I'm like, you, but you can tell, look at Kwame, Kwame, Kwame don't do none of this dumb shit. These dudes know who to who to go to. They out here, they're 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 quicker to follow a dude that had a that had a switch camera and we saw a dude in his bed that's here more more moisturized than me and I have a whole skincare fridge. It goes down in the skincare over here. Okay? This nigga more moisturized than me. Okay? He got more Louis Vuitton purses than I. Okay? They want to get dating advice from a man who never has been a really attract, attractive to women. Women don't really find him attractive. He's not an attractive man. He needs the he needs those things to try to, to try to get attention because he can't do it. He's small, he's frail. You know, he's, he, he, like, he's not it. He's not it. He's broke. Now he got a little bit of money. That's why women like him now, because he got money. But, like, there's really nothing. And Kwame out here telling y'all shit. Y'all don't want, half of y'all, half of them don't even want to listen to that. They only listen to the, oh, yeah, he's speaking. And then when he says something else, it's. But we listening to shiny suit mans. I don't know. I had a whole daycare too. A whole daycare. A whole one. Okay? It's wild. People I went to high school with are grandparents. I saw this one girl. She was a whole grandparent. We were, when I saw her, bro, we were like 35 when I saw her. But again, she had her kid at like 15 in high school. So, and she had twins. I remember this. She had twins. She had, she was 15. She had twins. So, you know, her twins, 
again, if you have kids early, your kids are more than likely going to have kids early. Her kids must have had kid, kids early because I saw her when I was on, at my homegirl house at her, old Bill. Her mama still lived there. My club, my homegirl came to visit. So I was over there and I was like, oh my God, ain't that what up, what up? And I was like, hi. And she was like, hi. And I was like, oh, this your baby. Because again, in my head, I'm still, we still young. We still fertile, right? She's like, no, this is my grandchild. I was like, great. And, I, and then it clicked in my head. Oh, shit. She did have kids at 15. Oh, shit. She a grandma. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> she said, I have a son and my husband offered. I wanted my tubes tied since our second son. The, the doctor wanted, wouldn't approve because I was in my 20s. I had it done on 4th because I am over being pregnant. Okay. Well, that, again, that's your own... Um, that's your experience. And I get it. After four kids, you married already. I don't want more kids. I, but I'm still not, but that's my personal thing. I'm not doing it. <sighs> she said, I care with these dusties. It's just so, it's just so, and it's the, again, it's the responses, it's the thought process. It's the nobody had, like, it was not a lot of male, like, mature, res mature responses. Like, we got, you got to be very weary about who you getting with, who you breeding with. Listen, nobody's perfect, you know what I'm saying? But there's some bare fucking minimums, and common sense should be one of them, child. She said, could we talk? The pro they use sex as the way to control stress, just like you would smoke some weed. And it's because of the multiple traumas that our children have is why they have babies so young to heal themselves, to feel. Exactly. But then they realize after they do that, that, you know, having this baby young isn't going to heal anything. It's not going to fix nothing. But nobody was there to teach them that because they probably grew up with a working mom and no dad in the house or no dad period because a lot of these dudes are like this shit or not like this but like the ones who are like well i'll just seat up the world before i use a condom or before i this or before i that. like like it says so much about you I believe my ex-husband had a vasectomy. I think he told me that after we divorced, he had a vasectomy. He grew up with parents. It says so much about a man when he does shit. Like, I don't know too many men who grew up with men. Like, he grew up with a man who is just spreading his seed far and fucking wide. My little brother, I have a lot of them. But the one directly underneath me, who will be in a chat on occasion, he's about to be 40. He doesn't have any children. None. He's about to be 40 in April. He has no children. Why? Because he can, he, he, what does he need with children right now? He ain't got nobody he want to be with, with four, you know, even though he was married, he ain't really want to be with her. So why have babies with her? He don't want to be with her. You know what I'm saying? Self-control. These men that like, it's just, it's just, for, it's like you had, like, no man was there to teach you or tell you that, you, like, you don't just seed up everything and everybody. But then they get mad when they seed up everything and everybody. And half of those everythings and everybody is some crazy bitches. Then they want to be mad at everybody because they didn't have no discretion. We, have, we need to have our own fucking discretion. Hey, DC, how are you, boo? Okay, I'm trying to check the time. Let him take uh, some responsibility, especially if you don't wish to use condoms, because they don't want to fuck. Because if you like, it takes how long to get back on birth control, especially having, having a baby. He going to want to, especially they married. He going to want to, right? And if she ain't able to do it, then what you going to say? Then what they going to say? Oh, she was she ain't have sex with her husband, so that's why he went out and cheated on her. Like it's a never ending it's a never ending excuse of unaccountability. It's a never ending fucking excuse of unaccountability with they asses. 
very responsible men. I like responsible men. Look, responsible men work. Men who do not have multiple children, that works for me. That says that you are responsible enough to control your seed. You thought about the effects of that shit. Because it's so easy to just spread your seed worldwide and have multiple baby mamas. It's easy. It's easy to, to be unaccountable for your life and your actions. And then mad at the world and the white man and the, and the black woman and every everybody but the white woman, child. Everybody but the white woman for the for the for the situations that you are in. Instead of being accountable, maybe I should have put some effort into my life. Maybe I should have, like the little boy who got expelled from my daughter's school yesterday for the dumb shit he did. Maybe you shouldn't have done that dumb shit. Maybe you should have thought about the effects of the shit that you fucking do. Maybe you don't have sex with someone you don't care about. Raw. Maybe you want to strap that one up. Maybe we take accountable, we maybe we take accountability for our sperm. Because God knows we us women have to take accountable uh, uh, accountability for that egg every month. We got to make sure we, you know, come on. She said he got it after they divorced. He didn't want no kids. Yeah, my ex-husband got one. He told me he got one. My dad think like one of the guys that I was with a couple years ago, he thinks that he had one and didn't know. I think a lot of people get them, especially when you get, especially if they're a responsible man, they are older. Either, especially when they're older, they're in their forties. A lot of black men who are who don't have again. It's the ones who don't have mad babies. The ones who, like like DC said, recently divorced. You know, only have one child's mother, and now they're thirties, forties, and they don't want more kids. If they want more kids, they ain't getting it. But if they if they don't want more kids, I know a lot of them. Who are just like, okay, well, you know, I'm 40. I already have, you know, three kids. I got like a boy and a girl, and I don't really want no more kids. That's their decision. Just like, just like it's our decision. I think kids shouldn't be accidental any damn way. So I don't know. Yeah, that too. Because again, they're so ignorant that they say this shit in their normal chats. So I would only hope, again, any women who breed with them deserve everything that they get. And those are the type of women who we aim not to be. Okay? They're trash men and trash women all over this damn, all over America. The trash begets the trash and they belong together. Hey, uh, Rochelle, how are you? She says it's hard to find a doctor who will do that unless you have math. Like my my homegirl, she was offered it down down south. They didn't offer a, 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 in New York. They didn't offer it to her in New York, but down south they damn sure they was pushing that shit. And she's like, you know, no. She's like, well, I you know, no. But she's like, they're pushing that shit down there. So I don't know. She said their mothers have five kids with five men. That they, those are the men. And no one, and get, don't get me wrong, because I know again people who parents a lot, women who had, you know, and then they listen. I'm again, everybody don't have necessarily a dad. They have a, a stepdad. Like, how does his mom give it up? Is his mom future's mom? Where she literally five kids, five niggas, and none of them niggas respected her or, you know, treated her nicely in front of any of her kids and none of that? Or was his mom a Sierra who went on to get married a guy who was actually decent to you and gave you a good, a, a, a good um, role model of what a father should be? Or an uncle? Who's in, you know, who's in the life that actually gave, you know, that was a decent man that worked and shit and was a role model for the son. 
or the children. This, 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 see, it, listen, she said it costs, and it's true, a quarter of a mil to raise one child. But the thing is, when these, especially these men who spread their seed, why they don't pay that? These are the same men that will disappear for months and years at a time and then come back and act like they did something because they bought something for the child 18 years ago. Or, oh, I took care of her, you know, the first, the whole year she was born. Nigga, she's 55 now. Y'all know what I'm saying. Like, she 18. What the fuck you mean you took care of her, her first year? Like, you still want props over the, over the formula you bought? You know? Like, we have every day. Every day. You know how much money I just spent today? You know how much money I just spent today? Fucking Christmas next week. Do you know how much money I just spent today? Every day. Food. Clothes. I don't get to eat and not feed her. I don't get to do that. None of us who are women here get to eat and not feed our fucking kid or think about what they ate. Or even think, I can't even go to a restaurant without thinking about what the fuck my kid ate. Because I'm going to either have to bring us something with me, I have to call, I have to Postmates, or make sure I have left something in the house for us. We can't do that. These men could do that. A lot of them do that. It be the ones who do that because again, all men aren't like that, aren't, aren't just abandoning their kids. We know that, right? We know that. But the ones who do, they don't think of that. When they eat and they turkey sandwich or whatever the fuck they bought with their little food stamp card, they're not thinking if their child was able to eat the child that they ain't seen in weeks or months or even talk to in weeks or months. Why? Or the children because they spread and they seed far and wide. Something happened to the mama, the child and fucking mama arrested. Some wild shit happened. You don't even know because you got so many of them. Your child in the fucking system getting raped every fucking day. But you daddy though. You daddy though. <sighs> she says some states will require the husband to sign for the wives two times. But the guys can snip, no question. I find it very hard to be attracted to a lot of men lately. I told you, I, I y'all said no. I'm dating one, and I'm I'm open to dating others. And I'm date. I went on a date with another, and it was. I tell. Remember, I attempted to go on that other date with one guy, and he started talking about Dutch. <clears throat> You know, so I'm cool with who I'm dating now. I'm still attempting to date, but like, no, you gotta be very weary. Better watch them. And again, nobody's perfect, but it's just certain things, qualified things that you just that for me is just a no go. You can't these kind of things. I can't get past. I can't get past. We're talking about, you know, people, people talk about, oh, I le talk about not even saying it's okay, but niggas talking about motherfucker cheating. But you're not talking about a motherfucker who can't even keep his seed right, who won't even, who couldn't even help you send your kid to community college. I was watching it. No, I wasn't watching it. It's coming out. I think it's coming out on Netflix. So it might be coming out in a movie theater. It's about this boxing girl in Brooklyn. Okay. Um, oh boy, he showed it to me. Anyway, he showed me the preview. Don't it? It was about this girl. She's a boxer. Her mom died or some shit. She's in a system. Her dad came out of jail or some shit. He ain't really fucking with her. She trying to get his attention. You know, he ain't really fucking with her. She goes to school. The teacher, whoever, put her in wrestling. She was in Olympics. It's a true story. He put her uh, He put her in wrestling. Now her dad care, right? Her dad care about her now, right? Her dad start putting her in street fights. Because in Brownsville, you know, it's the ghetto. They're from Brooklyn. It's the ghetto. Over there. It's Brownsville's over there. Anyway, in Brownsville, dad start, mind you, you can't do street fighting. Just like basketball, you know, basketball. You can't do street fighting and, and play, you know, and, and, um, wrestling for high school and shit going out for the olympics and shit and the dad because the dad want to make some money off of her 
she doing it because you know her mama dead this is the only other parent that she got and she want she just want him to just be happy with her smile at her about to destroy her whole fucking life this girl well she did end up you know going again i didn't see the movie okay but just from the review i was looking at it i was like oh so now he want to fuck with her and the, the the guy that i'm dating was like yep you see that shit i was like oh now she his daughter oh she he don't care about you know he here you know oh you gotta come to this fight she got a match she had a match she gotta miss her match because she want to come make because he need because he want to make a hundred dollars <sighs> yep cancers breast cancer cervical cancer all of that shit men just snip but again dc said she has one child but she was married and she just didn't want to have another one because she was single and her son was autistic i understand that 100 percent And birth control pills and all of that shit, though. Everything, it, you know, you don't know what the fuck. She, there you go. Like, you have your, you have all the kids that you and the person that you want to be. Because, because real men don't need to be with, don't need to impregnate the world. Real men want to impregnate the woman they want to impregnate and raise their children with them. And be there to be the to be an example for their daughters and their fucking sons, man. It's all right, Michael. Don't do it. It's fine. You can go ahead and perpetuate single motherhood. It's fine. For you. Not for me. Hey boo, how you doing? It's fine for you, for certain people. Certain people are fine to live like that. I, that's just not my life. But then also, those are still the same men that then they want to turn around and be like, oh, I can't get, you know, oh, they only attract a certain type of woman. They can't get because tr trash begets trash. Self-control, yeah. You ain't just spreading your seed world and worldwide. You actually use condoms. Jesus. You think about not catching an STD. It matters to you that you're not, that your dick don't burn. Too many men out here don't care if their dick catches on fire. And again, I'm not saying you can't have sex, but, you have sex with you, but like just ran, they'll randomly go raw dog the bitch they don't even know. He said, my brother has one child biologically from his marriage and he grew up with my dad in the house because when my parents divorced, he went with my dad and I, boys need their dads. That's why these boys who don't have no real male role models act like bitches because they were raised by women. And we can't raise them. We can't raise men because look at the fuck we raising. We raising a whole bunch of male bitches that don't want to have no responsibility. Men stand. That's masculinity. Men stand, but it's wild. You you know, you ever really thought about it and paid attention? Like, you know, just looked around you when you're walking down the street. Like, I like, you know, I live in Brooklyn. I'm going to the store. I walk down. You'll see some beautiful males. Males. I say males. Beautiful males. That's like, damn, you would have been a fantastic man if you would have grown into one. Big and grown and 30. 20 something, 30 something, 40, 50, a lot of them. Life a waste. Them at my children, though. Life a waste. They don't have nothing. They don't have nothing to fall back on. They bounce from woman house to woman house, the mother house, the cousin house, the sister house, the woman house. The, that's how I go. Nothing. Males. Those are males. I know a lot of males. We need more men. Men are accountable for their actions. Men don't think that a woman getting, oh, them nothing in a woman that they know don't ain't on birth control. 
is not their responsibility. They don't put that on. Like, but also a grown a woman, grown woman, not a dumbass little girl, is understand that if you don't have no birth control, if you don't, you don't have birth control, or you, you know, fertile and shit, like why the fuck you having some random nigga nutting you? Duh, why are you having sex without a condom? Genius. You're fertile as shit at 20. Maybe you might not want to play yourself with a pull-out method, genius. Pre-cum will get your ass pregnant. Stupid. <sighs> Hell yeah. If a dude... I can only tolerate a dude with multiple kids, like more than two kids, if he's been married. I'm not even tolerating you with more than two kids if you ain't never been married. I hardly talk. Well, I don't even like, honestly, I don't like men who ain't never been married before, especially at this big grown age. Because now, and you know what else? I think it's a huge red flag when they be like, I ain't been in a serious relationship in years. You're 48. Or, you know, or like, so you ain't, so like, you just wasted bitches time for like 20 years. And now all of a sudden you want to, like, you don't even know how to be in a relationship. You have wasted people's time. You have been around, like, you have not actually actively been in a relationship in years or actively wanted to. You've probably been, you know, using chicks. Chicks thought they were in a relationship with you, but you didn't, weren't in a relationship with them. Right? So like, what makes you think I want to have a you what makes you think now that you're 50 and your dick don't work and you need somebody to take care of you until you die that I'm gonna be that bitch I'm not gonna be that bitch any man who has never been married huge red flag hey couture bay the one of the only saggies we like hey vu happy belated birthday um We don't, we can't eat if they don't eat. What? Take food right out of our mouth. Damn it. Here. Don't let them, don't let me be in mid bite and old girl asks, can she get a bite? I can't even eat now. I know I just gave her food. I know she's not hungry, but it's the mother in me. Now she got to take my sandwich. Just here, take it. I'm mad because I know she's not hungry, but now I can't even eat it because she didn't ask me for it. And, and the shit inside of me won't even let me chew. There we go. She said they love that food stamp card, especially them. It's a lot of single men on food stamps, child. And they love to say that we all on food stamps. You know, they love to try to throw that on us, but it be dope. <laughs> it be dope. They get that single man food stamps. I don't respect men who abandon their children at all. They all got an excuse. They all have a reason. They all, oh, they, they, oh. no, you just wanted to, you just didn't give a fuck. You just didn't give a fuck. You just didn't give a fuck. There's no way to be there for all of them the way they need to be. Exa that's exactly why. And a man who can't comprehend that is not a man that I want to be with or not a man that I actually want to have children with. Especially now when I shit, I got married young. I didn't think about I knew half of the shit that I'm telling y'all now when I got married. I knew half of it. So I did halfway good. <laughs> the other half could have been very useful. I would have saved a lot of fucking heartache and time, but I'm telling y'all so y'all don't have to go through it. I don't even want to be with a man who, again, you got multiple kids because now let me tell. Cause that, like you can't be there for them to take care of them, to guide them. Are you just, how? And even when you're not, even that's another thing, even outside the house is still less than if you were inside the house. It's hard enough to be a dad and you live so separately. A weekend dad, even, even when, when the situation is great, and you could still come over and hang out. It's still, it's still hard because you're not there every day. You don't walk in from work. You ain't sitting there eating, drinking, fo uh, watching football, drinking a beer, and your son could come sit next to you on a regular Tuesday. And you, you know, it's still straining. 
even in the best circumstances, to not be in the same house with your children. I don't want it. And I don't want no nigga that don't have the, the common sense to understand that. And on his own, without nothing coming from me, from he was young to come, because if he can't comprehend that at a young age, he kind of, uh, at 40, you want him to comprehend that shit at 40? After he done fucked his life up? What now? Now I got to deal with your fucked up because you fucked up your, your shit? No, thank you. Oh, DC said if you're if you're in Cali, the woman have to consent for the husband to get in a vasectomy. So again, it depends on the state. It depends if the state is a Republican state or a Democratic state, based off of what I y'all telling me and what I'm seeing. <laughs> y'all is sick. <laughs> hey, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to focus more on. You know, we see how this week work out. I ain't get monetized for like the last three days. So if y'all could drop some donations, they'd be appreciated. But yeah, he thought we was going to go Dutch. I tried, y'all. I tried. I tried. I have another one who wanted to take me out. Cool. You know, but again, I still got my plumber. <laughs> He's stable. <laughs> He's stable. <laughs> And he only got fucking children with the with the wife he divorcing. Child, I can't deal with this shit. I cannot deal with this shit, boy. I cannot. Just children everywhere. Seeds everywhere. <sighs> it doesn't. It's the rest of my life. That shit don't stop at all. Ask my mama. <laughs> She said, left my ex-husband in Atlanta, crazy tail ass. Ciao. Yes. Yup. Couture Bay said they'd rather us. Yeah. Well, again, if this if the dude you messing with is that type of dude, that, again, these, these are all red flags of dudes that should be avoided, period. The Kevin Samuel esque ass niggas. Niggas who think it's appropriate for a motherfucker to kill. His baby, his baby mama, because if he got any sort of, oh, it's cool, you know, because he was depressed. Well, that dumb shit. Mm. R. Kelly lovers, mm. like, ain't hey, like, can we be real? Like, come on, niggas with multiple babies from from multiple women. Come on, y'all. But then when it go down, you're going you gonna to be angry and act like you don't know what happened because you thought your pussy was better than everybody else's pussy. Let me tell you, all the pussy the same. Just like you think yours the shit, the next bitch thinks she's the shit. Like, it's not that deep, okay? It's not that deep. She said, I will say, though, he doesn't play about our children and we don't want for anything. Southern men usually have a decent family. If they have a decent family, no doubt. If they don't, avoid it. Or decent people in their family. You gotta really pay attention. You gotta get you gotta pay attention and, and dig deep. You gotta pay attention to the trauma. I met this guy recently. Okay, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to um we we went on a double date. Because it's weird. Anyway, we went on a double date with this couple. And everything about the guy is a red flag to me the guy that the girl other girl was dating was with, out with her man she is not a guy she was out with it's her man everything about her man is a red flag every time i text or speak to this girl it's you know she you know she everything about i don't want to get again get into or whatever because they might see this or whatever but like everything about this nigga is a red flag. he fine though <laughs> he fine though he fine but everything about his 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 history, the women that the, the relationships that he's had that he's told her about, just the, just the, what she's told me about, I'm like all of that shit is in my head. I'm like all that shit is a red flag. What the fuck, you know? Like how he grew up, 
his upbringing is, you know, he's adopted and shit. And like the, the woman who adopted him and da, 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 all this shit that she's telling me. And again, this is just this. We we just met. So, I know, so, you know, she ain't telling me everything. It's a lot more shit. But like, if you know all of these red flags and, and like every like last night, I'm going to tell you exactly what she said to me last night, y'all. It was random as hell. It was random as hell. And I was just like, and I just, I kept trying to, again, because, you know, I don't tell people what I do. So she doesn't actually know that I'm a YouTuber, right? But, you know, I still got to. So, um, what she said? She was like, she said, it was randomly. She just hit me like, ugh, ugh. Randomly, I'm here chilling with old boy watching some shit. And then I'm like, hey, boo, you okay? She's like, life sucks. I already know it got something to do with it. Right? And then I'm like, well, today might sucks, but life is cool. What's wrong? <laughs> you know, this is how I'm trying to like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know? And then she's telling me, trying to look for work. You know, she hates being uncomfortable. You know, she stay with the guy and all of this shit. And I'm just, I know it's him. But I'm just like, all I can say is like, you know, just buckle, try your best. You know, again, I didn't ask. I don't like people asking me what I do. So I don't really answer what she do. But I think she worked retail or some shit. So, you know, I was just like, you know, keep pushing, you know, just six months of hard work can change. You know, I'm just trying because I'm like, I don't want the girl to just feel defeated and shit. Because the minute we feel defeated is how we end up having babies for these suckers. And even her telling me some of her history. I'm like, so you just been in abusive relationship after abusive relationship. And even when we were talking to the guy, I said, I had to, it was funny because I had to stop. My man started laughing and I was like, oh shit. Cause I'm not her. I don't tap dance around you, you know, and I'm just and he started, he was like, oh, you know, if he, what he gonna do, my dude there, but it's like, she was, she's so used to this shit, like the way this, the, like, would, like, flipped out, like, the shit he said, and I'm just like, so this is y'all, I'm like, so we're here, we don't know y'all like this, this is the second real time, you know, like, we really trying to, you know, we don't really know y'all like this, like, but, okay, <laughs> Okay, so what happened? So my thing is, if I don't know you like this, Shorty, you know, these guys might know each other a little bit, but if I don't know you like this, like, what happens? Because, you know, people always act more of an ass in private. So I'm in my head, I'm like, so what the fuck is going on in private? That's the real fucking question. I don't know. Yes. Yes, they do. If any man be on them red pill channels, I'm not with it. Four ba he was 39, four kids, four baby moms, and was about to be a grandfather. Had the nerve to get offended when I said I wasn't interested. Yup. Had the nerve to get offended. They be getting offended. They mad. They begin, but again, they're the same ones who want to run around and talk about they don't even want to date a woman with one child. Because who want a single mother? That's what the fuck they say. But they out here with 85 children. 85,000 children. All on child support. He ain't got no money. He couldn't even take you for a taco, ho. Wasn't it yesterday that somebody in here was telling me about their cousin, sister, friend, someone who was paying the court case for her boyfriend so he couldn't, like, fight to see, like, what? Y'all. Y'all, y'all, she said her husband had one because she didn't want to be on birth control for 20 years. Facts, like, facts that's it that alleviates outside children. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is like. The nerve, yes. They will tell you they don't date women with children, but they, a woman who even got one children. Shit, I'm, I'm divorced. I have my child in wedlock. And these niggas won't even want to date me, which I don't want to date them, but it's cool. But they could have like five, six of them motherfuckers, and it's fine. And work at Walgreens, and it's cool. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
Mm. <laughs> uh, one in three African American men ha um, have children with more than one woman. So the two thirds. So see, <laughs> at least we could at least listen. I know I would like the percentage to be lower, but at least we got two thirds to work with. If he gonna have a second baby mother, make it be you, and make sure you lock it down. Make sure he got enough sense to know he don't want mad kids, and y'all lock it down, and let him sniff it up after. Child, I was like, who? I was like, sir, we can't go on a date. I shut that. It's like, but again, it it's how you present. Remember, I shut down the dude who thought he was going to take me to this little cheap restaurant here in Brooklyn called Footprints. Nigga, you could get a whole meal. at Footprints is where high school kids need to go for dates. That's the type of vibe. Like $50, you can get the meals, the appetizers, and two fucking drinks, non-alcoholic, for like $50. That's where the teenagers need to go for dates. Sir. But again... When if you the type of chick who accepts bullshit, bullshit comes to you. That's why I, if you ex what you accept, what you I told my daughter yesterday, cause I'm funny like that. I told her when I went to FIT, I came from a community college, and I told them I said I said I'm only applying to FIT. Everybody was like, oh, you need to apply for this and this and this and this and this. And I was like, nah, and I'm only applying for one program, and no one has ever been accepted into that program from a community college ever that's historical and who was the first one to do it me why because i manifested the fuck out of that shit we were talking yesterday because she had her little interview the interview we had to reschedule so the interview was today okay today this afternoon she has her interview with the girl for the program for the test that test stuff i told y'all about anyway so you know so she we was in there we was just talking and walking around she was in a bathroom whatever and we were like you know and she was like she said something she was like oh my god it's so hard for me to get it you know i don't know if i'm gonna get in uh uh it's uh 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 exact uh exeter da, 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 because it's the school that you know she really wants to go to and i'm just like you need to keep saying i'm going to exeter i'm going to exeter for high school i'm going to exeter for high school and say that shit like that shit is a fact like, say, keep saying it like it was a fact. When I said, oh, no, it's cool because I'm going to get into this program. And everybody was like, ain't nobody got into the program for many. You know, it's like they only accept like three people and they train. Most of the people who they accept into the that bachelor's program came from are transferring from another bachelor's program. They don't accept uh, 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 um, into that program. They don't accept community college people. I was like, well, all right, what well, we going to see? Because I said, I said, I put, because it was a given that I was going to go. So when I got that acceptance letter, I already knew what it was. Because that's what I said. I had to apply for nobody else, nowhere else. Because I already knew what it was. And that's what I told her yesterday. You just got to know what it, what it is. You want to go to that, you want to go to that school? These other schools that we are applying for, it's backup schools. Cool. But if that's your goal, you keep saying that shit. That's where I'm going. Where I live now, outside the U.S., if you're dating a woman and she gets pregnant, you either marry her or go to jail. There's no deadbeat dads here, teen pregnancies, or single moms. Good. See, I'm Panamanian. We don't grow up in that culture. If you get somebody pregnant, you got to marry. We believe in marriage. Our boys marry. They marry. You might have an outside baby. I, a couple of them have an outside baby. I ain't going to hold you. My cousins, they might have a, uncles and shit. They might, But they took care of them. I have an aunt who raised, I don't know how she did it. You know, she's a strong woman. She raised two of my uncle's outside babies. She raised two of them. She raised two of them. And then my cousin, I love them. I'm, I didn't realize when we were young, I didn't know that they were, you know, I didn't know we were young. But yeah, she had like three. I didn't know that two of them weren't from her. I didn't realize that until I got older, you know, hearing shit and shit. But like, like just mad, just this, and she again with all of that, the stability of it all. She still lives. My uncle got like four brownstones. She still living her brownstone. She got a whole new man and everything. 
living in the damn brownstone that this that the husband that my uncle paid for because why they were married so like when people say like the stability of being a baby mother is just is just just not it's just not it's nothing it's no stability there so like it's the i don't understand why people don't want to get married it's a southern thing a lot of southern men get married that is true it's it, it it's a southern thing it's a island thing especially if they have not if they get, if they came up here and they like second generation they're a little funny but like it's it's certain islands i'm not even gonna say all islands it's certain caribbean island thing and it's a straight hispanic thing like all everybody i know is fucking married all my cousins majority of them boys and girls are married ain't a lot of us that ain't it's a given it's a given you know and when you grow up like that if you just have again my cousins ain't gone the boys they're not gonna just impregnate random women because they know they're gonna have to fucking marry them you know what i'm saying we ain't playing with you 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 just ain't having babies with all willy-nilly all over the fucking all over brooklyn we ain't playing that you're our dads our mom but again we all have dads the dads ain't playing them games with with their sons with their well, you know, the daughters, we we with the kids, but they're not playing them, they don't play them games with them. Like I raised you with a roster, you mean you're not raising your children. Like, absolutely not. So when you have expectations on you, that's how I but that's why I say what I say when I say sometimes we have to raise our children with expectations to pick well, to be married, to do something with his life other than being a deadbeat. If he ain't that book smart, go get a trade that's going to be able to let him take care for take care of his damn family. Because when we have expectations put upon us, we, we, we live up to them. Like I said, even the most retarded cousins that I have that's like, like she, why she marry his stupid ass? They married. They raised their kids every day in their house with them. You know what I'm saying? That's a given. No, no, not, you know, not taking care of my kids. Even if they might get a divorce or some shit, that's not even a given. Like, most of mad, mo like, what? Hmm. Fathers, a, son, a southern man who grew up with a father figure. He still turned out spreading his seed and now is married. Honestly, I don't know why his wife didn't see the red flags. <laughs> he said, wow. She said, not me. Let's get these likes up, y'all. I'm We about to get out of here, but get these likes up. I told y'all to do it on the way in. I told y'all to do it on the way in. Thank you, Reaction. She's enjoying the live. It's a lot of bot trolls. They're weird. Anyway, I appreciate you all. We're going to get out of here because I still have Christmas. <laughs> Fuck. Anywho, um, yeah, I'm done. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you tomorrow, more, tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, facebook and everywhere else we are streaming thank you for coming to watch the jovi beauty show at no the jovi the jovi b show at the jovi beauty school thank you so much